our world of symphony orchestras is that you get to know an orchestra by guest conducting it. And uh, without me knowing, they were already looking at me as a potential candidate for music director. And then I was offered the position actually a couple of weeks before Hurricane Katrina. We had no home. This place was, was destroyed. I mean, it was completely destroyed, but you could not even enter here. Um, and, but we quickly found uh, temporary and different homes, so we started playing in uh, maybe uh, one, two, three, or four places, and still play in some. So, in, in other words, I always think that adversity brings creativity and brings flexibility. The first show after Katrina was in Dixon Hall. Um, and the pieces were, it was an incredibly challenging program of all Ravel. The orchestra did not fit on stage. We did not have enough rehearsal time. We did, so many things were against the concert and against that even being possible, yet it was one of the most successful concerts I have ever been part of. The challenges that we faced were big challenges, but I don't think we ever thought that they were unsurmountable, and that we never thought that the process would be like a traumatic and negative process. The story is that um, is tied to the story of New Orleans, that many endeavors, many projects were put on hold because of what happened, but neither the musicians of the orchestra, the board, nor the city of New Orleans, and certainly not myself, we never abandoned the, the boat of the LPO, the project of the LPO. And the LPO rebounded little by little, but very strongly, and kind of became a beacon of light and hope and art in New Orleans. And 10 years after, uh, a little bit more than 10 years after, I ha I'm happy to see the orchestra playing beautifully, playing healthily, and playing in a beautiful theater like this, the Orpheum. I know that for our audience, which has, by the way, grown over the last years, we are a very important part of their life, and we want to be a very important part of a larger uh, sector of the city. We, we reach thousands and thousands of kids through our education concerts. More than half of the activities of the orchestra are related to education, which means that it's an orchestra that is very much involved in the grassroots of the community. And that gives me extra motivation to give everything that I can, irrespective of how many concerts I have or how heavy a week I have. It's all about the music and it's all about the audience and about connecting both.